I'm Nat. I'm just joining my client Maddie today. We're just getting ready for the simulation assessment. I messaged Maddie about an hour ago just to confirm that she knows where the studio is and just making sure she's still okay for the time that we agreed upon. I've written out our session plan and read over it a few times to make sure that I understand exactly what needs to be done today. I've set up all the equipment in working order to make sure that it runs smoothly and I've made sure that the fitness studio that we're using today isn't needed by any other instructors. I've checked all of my equipment to making, make sure it's in perfect working order. None of the equipment needs maintenance, so that's really good. I've also made an adjustment to the cardio section of the assessment today with reference to the treadmill and the roller, simply because I don't have access to those machines. So we're gonna be doing some hill sprints and some shuttle runs as well. And I've been in contact with AIPT to make sure that that's okay. So my client Maddie has arrived. Hi Maddie, thanks hey. for coming. Thank you. Um, so we're just going to get started um, with a little disclaimer form just so that I can get an idea of your existing fitness history, any medical conditions that I might need to know about um, and anything else you think is important. So I'll just get you to start filling that out for me now. Um, and while you're doing that, I'll just take you through a couple of the things that we're going to be doing today. Uh -huh. So we're going to be looking at some strength exercises, some push-ups, some lunges, okay. and some light weights. Also, we're going to be doing some cardio work today. Oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do some stretching at the end to okay. make sure that you're not too sore tomorrow. No worries. So I'll just give you a couple of seconds to fill that out. Oh. There I go. <laughs> Are you looking forward to training today? Yeah, I have been looking forward to it. Yeah, oh, good. it should be fun. Good. All right, perfect. Thanks for that. So on the form, you've ticked that you don't have any existing medical conditions. No. Um, so there's nothing that you've experienced before that might make it difficult for you to exercise or no joint pain. No. Nope. Nothing like that, okay, and you're not currently pregnant? No. Nope. No, nope. okay. Um, have you ever experienced chest pain during exercise? No, nope, Okay. Like All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, now, just in regards to your fitness goals, what do, would you say is your overall goal that you're hoping to achieve throughout training? Just want a hot body. Going on schoolies. Hot body, yeah. Yep. Got to look Bikini ready, <laughs> bikini body. Yeah, yep. <laughs> everyone's got a bikini body, yeah. so it's okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> All right, so you just want to basically tone up. You want to feel really good about Pretty yourself. Much, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. And have you done any types of exercise in the past that you found you really enjoyed? Oh, uh, not really. I uh, yeah, not really. I just exercise out of like need. Okay. So you're looking for something interesting, something yeah. that's going to show your results yeah. and get you motivated. Okay, cool. That's where I come in. That's easy. All right. So just so that you're aware, I'm going to be taking you through everything with a demonstration first. Um, and then afterwards, you're going to be following on and doing the activity. I'll be there to spot you the whole time. Sweet. And if there's anything you're not sure about, please just ask. You can stop at any time. There's water in the fridge. Awesome. So at any moment, if you're not feeling comfortable, please just let me know. Okay. okay? All right, I'll just make sure there's nothing else on your form that I need to go over. And All right, so main goal is going to be overall weight loss. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and general fitness. Yeah. Easy. All right, let's get started. Okay, Maddie, so just before we get started on the session, we're going to do a fitness test just so that we can benchmark in a few weeks where you're up to, how you're going, and to see how your fitness is progressing. Okay. So it's called the sit-up test. It goes for one minute. Okay. And basically you're just doing as many sit-ups in that time as you can. Okay. So it's important not to rush. Sometimes people rush this and they lose their technique. They're not sit up properly and they hurt their backs or their necks. Okay. So don't worry about going too fast, but just go as quickly as you can, keeping that form. And I'm gonna time one minute using my phone. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you the technique of a proper sit-up just to get us started. Yeah. So what we're looking for is keeping a nice strong core, obviously engaged. You want a nice soft bend through the knees and feet flat on the floor. As you lay down, you can have your hands across your chest or next to your head, whatever you like, it's up to you. Then you're gonna keep your chin down so that your neck is nice and long. You've got a nice neutral spine and you're gonna engage through the core and roll up. So you take a deep breath in and as you exhale, you're gonna sit up. 
okay? Mm -hmm. And then release that down to the start. So what we're trying to avoid is feet coming up to help us get up and also swinging the hands to get us up there, okay? okay. All right, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna set the timer whenever you're ready. Okay, in three, two, one. Okay, that's oh, it, good. That's all right. <laughs> That's it, inhale, that's it. Good, make sure you keep the neck down to your chin. Yep, that's it, good. Really good, that's three, four. Yep, keep those knees nice and level for me. Good, really good. That's it. Nice work, keep breathing, that's it. Make sure you exhale as you sit up. That's eight, that's it. That's it, good. You're doing really well. Keep it up. Take a deep breath at the bottom. Yeah, nice work. This is hard. You're doing a lot better than a lot of people do. So well done. That's it. Keep pushing. That's 12. And 13. You've got five seconds. And 15. That's good. Well done. That was really good. Very, really good. So I just have a look at my form. So your result was 15 in one minute. So that was really good. So that puts us around the average line. Okay. So it's really good because it means that you've got room for improvement and you're going to be able to notice as you really work on your core and your fitness, you're going to see that number. So that was really good. I'll make a record of those results for you and let's get started. All right. So the first part of our strength training is going to be some push-ups. So today we're just going to do body weight push-ups. As you get stronger, we can start to add some little weights to your back and maybe even to your elbows just to make it a little bit harder for you. So today I'll show you the correct form for a push-up and then you're going to do 10 on your own, okay? okay? So when you're setting up a push-up, it's important to remember that your core and your back muscles are one of the most important parts. People think this is all about the arms, but it's not. You've got to engage your whole body. So making sure that the hands are directly under the shoulders Rocking forward and keeping a nice neutral spine, you're going to step one foot out and both foot out, okay? So you've got a nice strong core. From here, keeping the elbows in line with the middle finger and making sure you bring those elbows a little bit closer to your torso instead of outways, you're going to lower yourself down and then push up to the top starting position. Notice how I didn't arch out through my spine and I didn't do a little harbour bridge there as well. Just a nice strong position. I'm gonna get you to try at least one on your toes. And then if you would like to, you can drop your knees down and tuck your toes. Again, making sure you've got a nice strong core, flat back, and you can lower down. And we're gonna go for 10 just like that, okay? All right, so set yourself up in whatever position's comfy for you. And I'm gonna be sitting right here. All right. So that's it, making sure you've got a slight bend through, making sure the shoulders are over the hands. That's better. Yep. Good, okay, lock on that tummy, keep the hips level, and we're going to drop for one, and push back up. Really good, how did that feel? Yeah, better if I was on my knees. Okay, so <laughs> drop with the knees down, that's totally fine. Untuck the toes for me, and again, just drop the hips down so you've got a nice flat back. Yeah, good, good. That's three, four, you're doing really well. Five, make sure your head doesn't dip down too low for me. Yep, six, that's heaps better, well done. Seven, eight, nine, nearly there. 10, well done, good, <laughs> awesome. All right, Maddie, the next activity we're gonna do is a weighted lunge. Lunges are really easy to do wrong, so I'm gonna take you through the form of one just so that you feel like nice and strong and that you know where your points of lunge are. So, starting with a nice, wide stance, you're gonna roll the shoulders back, neck long, and lock on the core. So don't arch out. Keep a nice neutral spine so in your strongest position. From here, you're gonna lunge down so that the right leg at the front makes a right angle and doesn't go any further than your front toe. The back knee is gonna make a right angle down towards the floor, and you stand back up. Today, you're gonna to hold four kilos in each hand, so eight kilos total for a weighted lunge. And that just holds everything back, makes it a little bit harder. And you're gonna go 
the 10 on each leg. Okay? Okay. At any time, just ask me a question if you feel like you're not sure. And I'll be here to spot you. Okay? So standing nice and tall, step forward with your right leg and get nice and comfy. Lock on the tummy for me. Shoulders nice and back. Yep, that's it. Making sure you're... Yeah, that's better. Okay, good. All right, now you're going to take it a little bit wider for yeah. me. That's good. Okay, now you're going to lunge forward. Make sure that this knee doesn't go further than... Yeah, that's good. And stand up. That's it. And two. And three. That's it. Well done. Keep that tummy locked on. How does that feel? Yeah, pretty good. Can you feel the weights working? Yeah. That's five, six. Yeah, you're looking really good from behind. Your back is nice and straight, your neck's nice and long, and you're not hunching. Sometimes people hunch. That's nine and ten. Very good. Feet together if you need to. A little shake, reset. <laughs> and now the left leg forward this time. That was really good. Okay, let's think about the position again. Making sure the tummy is locked on, the spine is neutral. So bring those hips forward for me. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now lunging down to 90 degrees and stop there. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. No, you're fine. You're doing well. That's one, two. Does get a little bit warm for the arms are. Three, four, five. Let's see. Keep the tummy muscles engaged. Six, seven, nearly there. Eight, look how low that back knee is going, well done. <laughs> Nine, ten, that's so good, well done, how did that feel? Yeah, good, that yeah, was good. good. Okay, so next week we can do heavier weights, right? <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna do some single arm rows mm -hmm. with a three kilo weight. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna use this bench right here. What you need to do is put your left knee up mm -hmm. and left hand down. This is for stability. You need to make sure that you've got a really straight, that'll be on the floor. You've got a nice straight back and a really locked on core, okay? It's very important that you've got a nice neutral spine, that you're not arching out yeah. and that you're not bending in like this, okay? So keep the shoulders down and low, neck long, looking at the floor directly in front of you, okay? From here, you're gonna reach down and pick up the weight and reset okay from here you're lift, thinking about lifting through the back okay so a lot of the time people just lift through the arm and okay. they use the wrong muscle set we need to think about engaging not only through the arms but also through your traps which are the muscles in the middle of your back and thinking about how you can squeeze them in as you row up for one and then let it down okay this way should be really easy for you because I've seen how strong you are. <laughs> what we're trying to do today is make sure that your technique is okay. Okay. All right, so let's start it. So left knee up and left hand in front. Okay, that's good. All right, now make sure your hips are level for me. Yeah, that's good. And I'm gonna hand the weight to you. Okay, starting low. Now think about engaging those back muscles already. So yep. roll the shoulder down. That's it. Good. Okay, think about squeezing through your lats just here. Yeah. And we're going to bend the elbow and roll it up to your rib cage. Yeah, that's it. Good. That's one. We're going to go for ten. Two. Three. Four. That's it. Look how straight your neck is. Good job. Keep breathing through this one too, Maddie. So... Yeah, so inhale as you push the weight down and exhale as you lift it up. So this is really good for your spine, this one. This strengthens all the muscles around your back, makes for really good posture and also a stronger tummy. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Good well job. Done. Okay, well done. Let's do the other side. So right knee up, right hand down. Okay, think about stabilizing those hips. And do the weight, keep the palm in towards the, yep, yeah, that's perfect. And squeezing, that's it. So lock on those back muscles, yep, yeah, that's good. Squeeze for two, three. How are you feeling? Yeah, all right. Four, how's that weight? Is that heavy? Or? No, it's pretty good, it's pretty easy. Next week we're going heavier. <laughs> See it, six, seven, that's it, keep breathing. And 10. Nice work. 
Easy. Thank you. You breezed through that. <laughs> At Maddie so for cardio today we're going to do some shuttle runs. Have you ever done those before? No. Nope. A shuttle run is where you run over a set distance and back to the start okay. and run the further distance and back again. Okay. okay, so I've set up some eight meter distances for you today. Yep. So 16 in total. Doesn't feel like very far, but we're going to get you to sprint. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do is we'll start with an easy jog yep. from the start to eight meters yep. and back. Yep. Then to the end and back. After yep. you've done a couple versions of that, then we're going to start to Sprint to halfway, touch the floor, okay. and go back to the start slowly. Okay. Sprint to the end, touch the floor, and back to the start slowly. We're going to do it a total of five times. Okay. Okay, so Wait. let's go to the start. Touch the floor and then all the way back. Okay, when you get here now, Maddie, you're going to sprint to halfway as fast as you can. That's it. Good. Touch the floor. Easy job. Really good. Sprint to the whole end. Hard as you can. That's it. Good job. And touch. Easy job. In through your nose, out through your mouth if you're breathing. Really good. Doing well. This is number two. Keep your shoulders back and your elbows relaxed. Full sprint, that's it. That's good. And good. Yeah, I think you guys are doing well. Alright, number three. So I'd just like to make a note to my assessors that my client experienced discomfort during the shuttle run section of the cardio workout today. So I made the decision to cut that area short just so that she wasn't in any further discomfort. I then gave her a rest and lots of water and we moved straight into the innovative cardio section. Hi Maddie, so for our second cardio today, we're gonna do some kickboxing. Sweet. We're not gonna do partner boxing until you get a little bit more comfortable wearing the gloves. Okay. So we're just going to incorporate some jabs, some crosses, some uppercuts and some kicks okay. just to get that heart racing a little bit, just so you feel nice and warm. Mm -hmm. And then next week when you're feeling good about the gloves, <coughs> then we'll start doing some partner work and you get the chance to punch me. Okay? <laughs> so stick on the gloves, the left one on, and I'm just going to take you through. Is that like it's on? Yep. about our position for boxing. So you want to have one foot slightly forward and a nice soft bend in the knees. That's your strongest position. So you can rock back and forth on those knees. Yeah, that's it. Then you want to have a nice locked on core, shoulders back and down, neck long. And you're thinking about punching <coughs> short and hard. Okay. So don't shoot out as far as you can go because your mm -hmm. elbow will hyperextend and you're going to hurt yourself in the long run. So you're imagining, <laughs> if I was standing right here, okay. You're imagining punching me, okay. okay? So you want to think across your body, out, straight, flat. See how my fist, yeah, that's it, good. So it's cross, 
So just see how I've still got a slight bend in the elbow even when I'm out the end? Yeah. And you want to add some force there. So really, yeah, that's it. Good. Okay, for a crop, for a hook, we're going to bring that arm around with a bent elbow and let the knee come in too. Okay? Yeah, that's it. It's cross, cross. Yeah, cross, cross. See, and you really want to push, push. Yeah, that's it. Good. For an uppercut. You're imagining that somebody's chin is here yeah. <laughs> and you're going up. So you're stopping your body. Yeah, that's it. So if you're going too high, you're going to feel like you're going to punch yourself. <laughs> so just up, up, up. Yeah, cool. All right. So what we're going to do is going back and forth on that way. And we're just going to do four jabs. One, two, three, four. Okay. okay. So again, it's one, two, three, four. Very good. All right, then we're gonna do four jabs and a hook. So it's one, two, three, four, hook. Yeah, good job. Again, one, two, three, four, hook. Okay, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Okay, now we're gonna add a knee, okay? okay. So imagine that you've grabbed someone by the head <laughs> and you're kneeing upwards, okay? So it goes, one, two, three, four, hook, grab, knee. That's it. One, two, three, four, hook, grab, knee. Knee. That's it again. One, two, three, four. Hook, grab. Knee. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Okay, you feeling okay? Now what we're gonna do is add a bit more of a jump to it. So we're gonna imagine <laughs> you're on, yeah, Muhammad Ali. We're yeah, in the like ring. <laughs> street fighter. Street fighter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you wanna have that, and that's where we're gonna get that cardio from, is because we're moving the whole time. Okay. So let's a bit more agile this time. It's one, <coughs> two, three, four. Hook, grab. Knee. Again. One, two, three, four, hook, grab, knee. Good, okay, other side. Left foot forward this time. Can you feel your heart going up a bit? Uh -huh. Okay, so take, keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Just get the rocking back. And this time we're starting with the left hand. Okay, okay so it's one, two, three, four, hook, grab, knee, okay? One, two, three, four, hook, grab, knee. Very good. So remember, it's your right knee this time. Yeah. So you're grabbing the person and coming across your body. Okay. Let's try and jump. All right. It's one, two, three, four, hook, grab, knee. Again. One, two, three, four, hook, grab, knee. All right. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Okay. Get your breath back. <laughs> Shake it off. <laughs> All right. This time, we're going to go straight out and across. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right, then you're going to push your weight over onto your left foot and back. So you can go kick. Yeah, so it goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Back, kick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's try a little bit faster this time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, back, kick. Yeah, cool. Okay, again. Okay. Add a little jump. Real deal this time. Okay, <laughs> yeah. ready? It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, back, kick. Yes. Okay, get your breath back. Let's do the left hand side this time. So we're okay. starting on the left. Yep. Right, left, right, and then it goes left, right, left. This time the left foot comes back and we kick up. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, back, kick. Good. Doing really well. Let's do <laughs> one more. Okay, so it's jab, cross, three, four, up, two, three, back. Okay, let's add one more. I lied. It's one more. <laughs> ready? And one, two, three, four, cross, up, three, back, kick. Nice work. You're really well. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Okay. All right, Maddie, how are you feeling after our session today? Yeah, good. good. Feeling good? Yeah. Nice and warm? Yes. Okay, how do those weights feel today? Yeah, pretty good. I was pretty comfortable with them. Yeah. Okay, so next week we can go a little bit heavier. Yeah, for sure. And get those muscles working a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. You did really, really well, especially in the Thank boxing. You. That was really cool. Thank you. All right, so we're just going to finish up with a few little stretches. I'm going to focus on two areas that you work the hardest today. Okay. So your pec muscles at the front of your chest just here, your delts and your triceps. You worked really hard with the push-ups <laughs> and the rows today. So what I'm going to get you to do is just to put your forearm on the bar. 
You're going to then step away with the inside leg so that you get a nice stretch just down the front and you're going to hold it there for about 20 seconds. That's it. So bring that elbow nice and low for me. Wrap it around the bar. That's it. And just rotate out. Can you feel that down here? Yeah, yeah. Look here. Okay. That's it. I'm just going to hold it there for a few minutes. And when you're ready, swap it over to the left hand side. Yeah, so the inside leg moves across you and you rotate the body out. Yeah, that's it. Bring that elbow up and just bring that leg sort of out to the side. So you want to have your feet like this. So you can so, bring that okay. one. Yeah, that's it. Good. Have you got any plans for the rest of the day? I'm um, going on a date tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah. You'll be feeling nice and fit yeah. for the day. <laughs> Well done. Good planning from you. <laughs> going out for a nice dinner. Oh, we're going to pot pot. Oh, very <laughs> so exciting. I can use these guns. That's fitness kind yeah. of. <laughs> There's walking involved. <laughs> okay, so let's go down to the floor. For the next stretch we're gonna do focuses on your glutes and your hamstrings. So you did really work hard with those lunges today, um, just to avoid any soreness. What we're gonna do is start you laying on your back. You're going to cross one leg over the top of the knee yeah. and then you're going to reach in between your under your leg and in between your thigh and grab behind the kneecap, bringing that other knee up to 90 degrees. Then when you're feeling good, gently pull it in towards your chest and you should feel a nice stretch down the side of your glute and around to your hamstring okay. and you're just going to hold it there. If you need to increase the stretch, you can bring that foot slightly further down and it's just going to change it up for you. Okay, so yeah, cross it over, reaching in between and pull it up. Quite flexible, how does that feel? <laughs> yeah, good. You're very flexible. <laughs> no, I can definitely feel the stretch. That's good. And keep breathing through this one. If you feel like you can increase the stretch a little bit, as you take a deep breath in and exhale, gently pull it in a little bit further. That's good, well done. Okay, when you're ready, swap legs. That's it. Nice neutral spine. Good. Now, because you are so flexible, I'm going to add another stretch onto the end for okay. this so that you can feel a little bit tighter. <laughs> That's it. Five more seconds here. How does that feel? Yep. Good. Good. Okay. Let's go back to the original leg. So, that was your right leg, the one that you stretched first. Laying flat on the floor for me, you're going to keep your left leg completely flat to the floor. Yep, that's it. And keeping those knees nice and parallel, you're going to bring that knee in towards your chest, trying to keep that knee flat on the ground. How does that feel? Yep. Can you feel that down your hamstring? Yeah, for sure. And as you increase in flexibility, what you can do, if you try this at home by yourself or yep. at the gym or whatever you're doing, you can start to increase the angle of that leg and you'll start to feel the stretch differently. Yeah. There's five more seconds here. And so breathing is really important with your stretching as well. You've got to remember that your breathing kind of dictates how everything aligns yeah. and feels. So let's go back down to the floor with that right leg, bring the left knee up to your chest. What did you think you might like to try again? Was there something in there that you thought you might want to give another go um, just to feel The kickboxing bit... was fun. Yeah. That was really good. Um, it yeah. didn't really feel like a workout. Hey, yeah. did you just like get going? Yeah. Um, and yeah, maybe to like get better at the lunges and stuff, like yeah. build up a bit more strength. And increase the weight as yeah. well. Yeah. So what we can do within that is to make it a little bit harder for conditioning. We can get you to do some pulses and some really low holds to get okay. those muscles working and you're going to get a nice perky muscles <laughs> and start to feel really strong. Awesome. Do really well. Thank Thanks for coming much. today. I'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. 
So while you're training clients, it's really important to understand how to modify the workout to ensure that you're catering for their particular health needs. So today I'm going to explain how I would modify that particular workout that I just did with Maddie to ensure that it was safe for a person with high blood pressure, a lower back pain and a shoulder injury. So first of all, with high blood pressure, it's important to know that cardio exercise can actually lower blood pressure and can strengthen the heart and bring those issues into a controlled environment, obviously with the help of an allied health professional getting advice from a GP before you initiate exercise is really important but also working out with that partner just keeping really conscious checks on how they're feeling frequently making sure that you're assessing their their blood sorry their um, heart rate their any feelings of dizziness nausea if they're feeling a little bit unsure of themselves always cease exercise straight away and you need to sit down at any given time, drink as much water as possible, and ensure that the client feels comfortable. In saying that, I would ensure that they have low impact exercises. So something like kickboxing may not be appropriate for somebody with high blood pressure, just because there's a lot of jumping and moving around and that kind of fast motion can make them feel a little bit um, low in their, in their pressure. So what I would say, is that low impact cardio such as walking to start with they can increase to interval training where they're power walking and like I said at the start assessing how they're feeling within that movement and then you can build from there so the second health issue that I'm thinking about is a lower back pain for the client so it's important to understand that lower back pain can occur from a multitude of reasons. So it can be an anterior pelvic tilt, scoliosis, there can be an actual joint issue, maybe the lumbar spine. Um, you might have uh, poor muscle tone in the muscles supporting that area of the back. So you need to approach this injury from a really um, strengthening and stabilizing perspective to make sure that there's no unnecessary weight put on the area and therefore no unnecessary pain. So if we were taking the lunge for example, I might put a small medicine ball behind the back knee to support some of that body weight and just to encourage the client to really lock on through the stomach, keep a nice straight spine and a neutral position to make sure that everything around that lower back was being engaged and helping that whole range of movement. Sometimes people with lower back issues start to arch out and hyperextend through the spine, or similarly, they start to compensate using other areas of the body, and they actually avoid strengthening that muscle area altogether, which is the root of the problem. So it can be a really vicious cycle if you don't ensure that they're stabilizing and strengthening those muscles the whole time. So the last area for modification would be for a shoulder injury with the client. So a shoulder injury is another really um, complex issue because the shoulder joint is such a versatile joint and it has so many planes of movement, it can be difficult to ascertain what the actual problem is and why they're experiencing, whether it's overuse or an impingement or whether there's a bursa, they might have a uh, trauma that occurred that's forcing the tendons to react and be inflamed. So I would encourage that client to seek out the assistance of an allied health professional such as a physiotherapist or a GP prior to starting training with me. If they get the all clear um, from the GP to do training, then I would also start to work out with the client which planes of movement are painful for them. So whether they, um, the outer movements such as this or reaching forward or pulling down, which movements are causing that discomfort and I would stay away from those movements and work on strengthening the small muscles surrounding those areas. So if they, for example, find that a full body weight push-up is uncomfortable, then I would start them on a wall push-up with a much less incline, just so that they can get used to that push-pull with a lesser weight. If all motions are too difficult or if it's too discom it causes too much discomfort, I would include a band workout with a resistance band just to get those muscles using a very small amount of resistance to strengthen up and also to strengthen through the pecs and the back muscles, the traps and the lats, just to make sure that all the areas are working together to support that injury. The other thing that the client needs to be aware of is that overuse can really inflame injuries like this and sometimes rest and working on other areas of their fitness can be really important for making sure they come back to peak physical fitness.